That's what I need to know. I need to know why my daughter don't want to come back to school no more. They talking about it ain't their job to tell me that my daughter's going into a room like this <laughs> with a door closed with a man, and they can't tell me what happened, and my daughter don't want to come back to school. We got an issue. You're going to get to know me today. We have a problem. We have a problem. Ladies and gentlemen, we have problems. You're goddamn right. What it look like, TV? I am back. What it do, baby? YouTube's own Varnell Hill. Did you miss me? Your very own spokesman for the Insidians. We're inside and we're comfortable. They're so comfortable. And I'm back with another one. And today, y'all, I want to spread awareness about this DC rapper, Baby DR3. This guy right now is caught up in a real sticky situation. And if you ask me, he was pretty much provoked into the situation. Maybe I'm a father and I'm biased, but let's look at the whole story and then we'll chop it up on the back end. This is the most valid crash out I've seen. Rapper Baby DR3 just got charged with attempted now I'll show you the video. That's what I need to know. I need to know why my daughter don't want to come back to school no more. They talking about it ain't their job to tell me that my daughter's going into a room like this <laughs> with a door closed with a man and they can't tell me what happened and my daughter don't want to come back to school. We got an issue. You're going to get to know me today. So what I did was I picked up the phone. I already called the cops. They don't want to tell me. I need a report or something because somebody need to explain to me why my daughter don't want to come back. Explain yourself. First, before we go any further, let me push back on my man calling this a crash out. Crash outs are over dumb things and dumb situations. Your duty is never a crash out. So my man, I appreciate you getting us the content, but characterizing this as a crash out, I think you a little out of order and you probably don't have daughters. That's why you're using the, the, the colorful language, but this is not a crash out. This is this man's duty. And if we're setting the whole stage for this, his daughter must have came home and was enjoying school and now doesn't want to go back. And he gets to the school and he finds out that his child is having one on ones with an adult male in a conference room with a covered door. And nobody wants to tell this man what is being said, what is being done in this room. So you're pretty much just stoking the fire within this man because the only thing that he can assume is the worst at this time because you are you are not putting his mind at ease, shall I say. So if you ask me, you're kind of pushing this man over the limit. He even said he called the police and it seems like nobody is helping this man. And the only thing he knows is his juvenile daughter doesn't want to come back to school and is being forced to be in these quote unquote conferences and nobody wants to give them details on what's going on. But let's continue with the video and see where this thing goes. That's the teacher that was taking her in the room. Anybody else think it's okay? You still breathing? Now all this took place on Instagram live. All this was live for the people to see and he ended up choking my man out until he was uh, unconscious. Now they're saying he's up on trial for attempted deletion, but I don't think he tried to delete this man. I think he was sent into a, a rage, pretty much how people claim temporary insanity. I really believe that was a situation where he saw him and after the fist bump, next thing you know, it was over. And I can totally, I can totally relate to situations like this because I was in a situation like this before. People that know me that was at the game that day, I ended up right down on the court in the referee face when I thought like it was just too much. I felt like the man was allowing my daughter to be targeted. And she looked at me and I was in the crowd 
and I blacked out. Like when you're a father and it's hard to explain, a father's love is different for his children. That protector is an instinct. I don't know what to call it, but it's, it's, it's a violation that everything in your body tells you that you have to fight against at all costs. No matter what the penalties are, no matter what people think about you, if anybody's going to be violated, it's not going to be the pups. It's not going to be my children. And it's something that's instinctual. And I could only imagine going through all the right measures that you're supposed to go to. You call the school. The school don't want to tell you nothing. Then you come to the school in person and you're talking and you, you have to peace out and get that. It's conferences and it's conferences and closed doors. And that's another thing with the school system. Y'all are totally out of order thinking that for juveniles, you're going to be able to keep their secrets and not involve parents and know more about the children than the parents know about the children. Then you want to turn around and say that the parents need to raise their children better, but you don't want to give the, the parents all the information about the children. Like the whole thing is a setup and it's a trap. What you need to do is focus on the job at hand that you've been tasked with is educate the children and that's it you don't need to be instructing these children on how to live you don't need to be digging all deep you just need to give them the education and you need to move on because right now things have become too intrusive how about we get back to teaching people how to read write and do math ever since y'all done got all intrusive and everything them went all deep and we done got all, <laughs> all extra with the education nobody knows how to read write and do math anymore how about we take all the other BS out of schooling and go back to teaching them how to read, write, and do math? Maybe they'll know how to read, write, and do math. It's no way that you can uh, expect a parent that loves, cares, and cherishes their children to accept the fact that their child doesn't want to go to school anymore and they used to want to go to school and you find out that they've been having one-on-one -on -one conferences in the conference room with the windows covered where i don't even know why a conference room would need covered windows in the school that's where just the just to think about that everything should be able to see be seen every conversation should be able to be seen through a window you ain't got to hear the conversation but there's no need that the conversation need to be behind closed doors especially with children so the fact that you guys was withholding it, the fact that his daughter came home and had these stories, one, is going to send somebody into a rage. And then two, the fact that you are a school system and you think that you're going to harbor information about my child or have information about my child that I can't have as the parent, but I'm held legally responsible for the child. That's just, come on, man, you're stoking this man's flames. You're putting yourself in a situation where somebody's going to snap out. And maybe everybody's not going to snap out and react to the extent that that man reacted to. But you can't poke somebody. You can't poke a bear and then get mad when he reacts. You can't do it. So in this video, I just want to bring awareness to this young man. And we need to keep his name out there. And we need to pretty much side and try to get some awareness if he got to go fund me out there somebody reach out to me we can put it in the comments section but this right here i feel like it was provoked and it was provoked by the school system because the man was just being a father man when he gave you the fist bump teacher you were supposed to tell him you know pull him aside and i don't care if the school system told you that you wasn't supposed to say nothing you're supposed to pull him aside and let that man know everything that was going on between you and his daughter because if not you put yourself in a dangerous situation you put yourself in a dangerous situation man it ended up backfiring on you but anyway man y'all hit me up in the comment section and y'all tell me how y'all feel about this one i feel like the man had no choice and i hope he got some answers i hope the mother got some answers i hope somebody in the family at least got some answers if he's sitting in jail because if they still haven't received any answers we have a serious problems on our hand a serious problem on our hand but anyway man i just wanted to touch base on that make y'all aware of that 
So like I said, hit me up in the comment section. Let me know how y'all feel about this one. Tell me how you felt about what just happened there. And I'll check y'all out on the next one. If y'all done made it to this point in the video, you are my MVP. It was a stone groove, my man. I'm out of here.